I'm talking to these heroes this morning at 20,320 feet. Mount Denali is the tallest peak in North America. It's in Alaska. And next month, these two women representing the Marines and the Air Force are going to attempt to climb to the top of it, all to help other veterans, especially women. And if successful, retired Marine Corps Sergeant Kirsty Ennis would become the first female veteran amputee to accomplish this amazing feat. Air Force veteran Caitlin Sheehan and retired Marine Corps Sergeant Kirsty Ennis of Service to Summit join us now. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. morning. How did y'all get involved in this and decide y'all are going to climb this mountain in the middle of the snow? <laughs> well, the fellas had done it. And there were a lot of incredible programs out there for veterans to do expeditionary programming, and really none of them were focused on women. And so identifying that need, we decided that we were going to do it. And how did y'all meet? Really through a mutual friend. You know, a couple of people said, hey, you know what? You guys have similar mindsets, similar interests, and we have that same common goal of wanting to pay it forward, mm -hmm. wanting to help other people. Um, so they linked us up. That's great. Yeah. Now, Chrissy, I met you at um, a Building Homes for Heroes event and heard your story. You, you lost your leg fighting for our country in a helicopter crash in Afghanistan. Tell the folks at home what you went through. It's been, it's been a long road. You know, I joined the Marine Corps at 17 years old and um, did two combat deployments to Afghanistan as a helicopter door gunner and airframes mechanic. And as you said, on my last deployment, um, my helicopter went down and as a result of it, I sustained some pretty serious injuries, everything from a traumatic brain injury to, like you said, losing my leg. And it was an uphill battle. You know, I lost that sense of purpose and I really struggled mentally and emotionally. And I was really fortunate that, you know, this family that I established with Building Homes for Heroes was introduced into my life. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it, that provided provided the framework and the foundation to, to my future, yeah. to me doing what I'm doing now. That was a few years ago, and my gosh, you've been through so much, so many surgeries. Your mom was sitting next to you. We were all in tears hearing your story. Tell me what the organization has done for you. This, uh, this organization really, I mean, it gives people their lives back. You know, we don't want pity. We want opportunity. And these homes and this organization provides Mortgage just that. Mortgage-free, right? Absolutely. Mortgage-free. They outfitted this house. that You just moved into your house in Colorado. They outfitted it just for your needs to make sure that you were safe and comfortable. Absolutely. You know, especially adapted homes to tailored specifically to the veterans. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's not just a home, it's not just four walls. It's, you know, for somebody like me who doesn't have a family or, you know, some well-established career, like that's what's gonna provide me that opportunity to move forward. Mm -hmm. Now, Caitlin, you're yeah. involved with the organization as well. And tell me about your service. You're in the Air Force. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I and spent- you've been deployed? Yeah, I spent four years active duty, deployed a couple times. Um, my friends called me the confused hippie, uh, <laughs> but I, I was uh, really honored to have the opportunity to serve, and it was a dynamic experience that left me with some injuries as well. And so having the opportunity to find the wilderness to be such an incredibly mm -hmm. healing place, mm -hmm. it was really important to me to continue to make that accessible to other veterans. Most and people... I'm sorry. Most people couldn't do this climb without injuries. Both of you have sustained injuries, and you're still going to do this. Are you nervous about it? Um, yeah, I'm not as nervous as I am to be on TV. But, really? uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it, it, it's its own separate kind of nerves, but it's incredible being tied up with this gal, um, literally, on a mountainside because uh, it takes three kinds of stamina and one of them is mental, and uh, we've got that. We've both been tried and we okay. both have determination. So when is it bad. and how can we help? Well, we, yep, we step off on June 1st. That's when we actually get out to the glacier and, and make our ascent. Um, but yes, check us out at servicesummit.org and especially please check out buildinghomesforheroes.org. Okay. They're looking to fit, uh, gift a home to a veteran to the, and their family completely free once every 11 days this year. And yeah, we're just really stoked Andy to be a Pujol part of that. Andy started this. He was 100%. down at ground zero and he lost so many people at 9-11 and he said, you know, I want to do something to give back to this country, and the organization has taken off. One home every 11 days, that's incredible. Building Homes for Heroes, check it out on their website. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you for Thank having you. us. You're welcome. God bless you. Thank you for serving.